Hi everybody, I just want to do a quick review of these Saucony cross trainers, size like 11 and a half. Um, I've had these shoes for about two years now almost and uh, basically they've had the biscuit. Um, this one is like, uh, as you can see, it's like torn along this line here. So it's uh, basically like when I walk around I'm in Canada, so when I walk outside and it's snowing or raining, the water just like goes right in the shoe there. Um, they're not supposed to be worn in like every type of weather, but uh, I've wore, I wear them all the time. <clears throat> uh, in Canada, you're supposed to s sort of switch to a shoe boot or something, or a boot in the winter, like when it's really snowy. Uh, but I'm kind of, uh, you know, have a uh, lack of common sense and I just like leave these on half the time. Uh, I do have other footwear, but I have to hand it to these shoes. They are uh, like wearing them every day. Like they're basically like, uh, like permanently fused to my feet. Um, they've done well for me. Um, I would definitely recommend them. There's a place here in Brantford um, that uh, Every uh, year or so, I go to this shoe store um, and I basically walk in, head straight over to the black, all black cross trainer section and pick out a pair of uh, shoes just like this or very similar. Um, I think this is the second pair of Saucony uh, cross trainers I've owned in the past five years. Um, I basically just go in there, I, like most people are in there trying on different shoes for like you know, 10, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, they're just like walking around. Uh, but I just go in, find basically these shoes and then uh, make sure they fit me and then I just like walk around once and I leave. So I don't waste any time and then I'm basically wearing these shoes uh, for the entire year for like, you know, hardly ever take them off except for to, you know, I kind of treat them like they're slippers, even though they're, you know, they're shoes. I'm not supposed to wear them like around the house necessarily, but I do anyway because they're pretty clean. They don't ever really get dirty, except for recently when I stepped in a steaming pile of dog shit because I went to my friend's house and he, there was a new dog there and it was like running around outside. So I was kind of playing with this dog and then I just like took a step back and stepped in like a, a pile of like hot dog shit and I was like, that's fucking disgusting. But, uh, and at that point, that was sort of like the, the death knell of these shoes because, uh, yeah, they it basically had to, I had to come home and like scrub the fucking dog shit out of these shoes because they were like, you know, it's one of those times where it just like cakes right into every, every, uh, you know, part of the sole of the shoe. And so I was like disgusted and sad and the dog was like, you know, kind of laughing at me and its dog bark no language and I was like anyway so I uh, what else could I say about these shoes um, yeah I walk in them like all the time and lately I've been walking more because I've been doing like more uh, I've been walking to lose weight and uh, it's been working I'd say I've lost like 30 uh, 36 37 pounds and um, in the last two months and a big part of that is getting up and like uh, not eating and then walking for like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour every day, like some of the YouTubers have recommended. And uh, always wear these shoes. Over there are the shoes that are the uh, replacement shoes. I'm gonna have to go back and get some more of these black ones because I'm a big fan of the black shoe. Um, yeah, and I don't really tie them. I just like tie them up and then like slip them on. And uh, I wear them to the gym, I wear them to, uh, yeah, outside, inside, uh, pretty much everywhere I go, even if it's like, the thing that they're not great at is like uh, sticking to, you know, like, you're not supposed to wear them on an icy terrain, but you know, I do that sometimes too, and then uh, I'm in danger of falling because they're not like, even though the treads are, you know, like, they're pretty, uh, they're not like, you know, they're not like cleats or anything, they're not like a, a winter shoe that you're supposed to, you know, a boot that's supposed to like kind of just, you know, kind of clamp down on the ice or something. It's like, these are these are pretty much like, you'll like break your neck walking on ice in these, so I'm pretty careful. But uh, also one day they like, I wore them to uh, a week of 
working at a, as a house painter and um, the house paint got on the shoes and like some shorts and uh, clothes of mine and basically like annihilated some clothes. Uh, there's no way I could get this paint off like I tried. Um, it's just like immediately like, I shouldn't have even worn these shoes to that, uh, that gig, but I basically like thought I could get away with painting the inside of a house without getting paint all over myself. And uh, uh, that was pretty much impossible because um, I was using a brush and I was like in, in close doing some like detail work, although I should have used more of, of this roller extender that they had. Um, but anyway, so yeah, these shoes uh, got kind of fucked uh, like four months ago when I did the, the paint job. And uh, what else can I say? Like, yeah, the inside of the shoe, um, it's just like falling apart. <clears throat> so uh, otherwise I give these shoes a uh, 10 out of 10 and I'm going now to dispose of them because, you know, they're done, they've done their thing, and uh, that's it. They go in the garbage can. If I had a fire pit or something, I might light them on fire, but I guess they probably have some uh, toxic chemicals in them, and so yeah, now I'm just like uh, heading over to these shoes, which are whatever the fuck they are, so I'm gonna wear them until I get some more of those nice Saucony cross trainers that I love so much. Uh, I think they cost like, you know, 100 bucks or whatever, so maybe 125, maybe 85.599, I can't really remember. Anyway, um, that's it. 